Alright, hey everybody, Sickness LP, back with this thing. You, if you were actually watching the LPs in order, and this is not really an LP, so I don't know why it's on Sickness LPs, but it's time to Sickness LPs, and this is a thing that is kind of an LP, but not really. So, clever flying sounds. I have no idea what that was supposed to even do. But, okay. This is probably makes so much more sense if I was actually reading what was going on, but I'm not, so. You trapped the Misty Gang several hours east. So, what will guard is level 90. I'm kind of hoping that this is just one of those level 90s that aren't really level 90s. I'm gonna have to change my armor for this. I sort of feel like going on Draco Mancer armor, but I'm pretty sure Guardian Plate is more of a thing. Right. So here's my Blade of Awe. It makes Guardian Dragons like this appear every so often. And goes to my every whim. I don't believe I've ever actually gotten the supposed Wheel of Fortune attack from the Blade of Awe, which if you don't know what that is, because you're not familiar with this game for some reason, is this attack that's supposed to, like, do about 999.99999 damage and essentially almost kill anything except for the things that have more HP than that. But yeah, so right now we're not doing incredibly bad against the Supporple Zard. I sort of remember remembering what the word Vorpal even meant, except I sort of forgot, so no clever analogies of the name here. Whatever it is, it must have something to do with a bunny, even though I'm pretty, like, 99% sure it does not have anything to do with a bunny. It's not the rocker bunny. Not that anyone will ever get that reference, because the one person who will is likely not to ever watch these videos, and at least I hope they never watch these videos, because if they do, then I feel kind of awkward. Because this is not really me at my best. So yeah, apparently I'm actually managing to die against this misfit monster, Vorpal Zard. It's a thing, so I don't mind. Should have probably kept the Lich and kept draining it, except then I wouldn't have been able to do all this weird damage. Uh, I think after this quest I'm probably just going to end this sort of let's play thing. Assuming I can actually beat this quest. In fact, come to think of it, probably the reason I quit this game was kind of because the quest got too hard in the sense that once you became level 77, there stopped being level restrictions on monsters and you ended up fighting monsters that were 20 levels higher than you with no hope of actually beating them because they expect you to have some overpowered suit like the Obsidian Cloak that is more overpowered than it really is, apparently. So, uh... That kind of describes my thoughts on whether or not you're supposed to win this. I kind of forget how many carrots it actually shoots, too. It's not bad, but incredibly bad at the same time. Uh, I could pretend I have potions, or I could do the invisible blast, but I'm pretty sure. So it's, it's, uh, I'm just going to vacuum it with elemental things. So I'm pretty sure this hits with basically every element in the game until it does something really damage. And by every element in the game, apparently I mean an alternation of light and thunder. Mm, no such luck that it dies this turn, I assume. Ouch. Well, that was over quickly. So I suppose... There's not much else I can do other than spam battle until something happens. So that's what I'm going to do. This is interesting. So here we have a dark steel guard. It's weak to light, water, and wind, and not earth at all. So I should probably not keep this. Um, I could use... Uh, what could I use? King's Dual Light, I assume. King's Dual Light sounds about right. Apparently not. Stupid giant thing. So this is a Dark Steel Guard. I'm assuming that once you're level 100 you can fight a Dark Steel Not Guard, which is probably a lot more powerful. Well, I'm probably assuming too much from this game. 
I just drained its mana for no apparent reason. And you know what? I think I'm gonna spam spells. Probably gonna be more effective than using this weapon of particularity. Particularity, is that a word? I'm gonna pretend it is. So elemental vacuum is energy and light, right? Energy won't do anything, but the light will not do any damage whatsoever, apparently. Okay, remind me never to use that attack again. It has not been completely nice to me. What's this? It is pissed off. I understand your pain, young monkey of blackness. That's not a thing. So, uh, purity portal. That's... Pure power below the enemy's feet. Energy lord, is that even a thing? Oh, this is another dumb energy attack that doesn't affect it. I was kind of hoping it would be light, but I guess the fact that it was an energy portal and not a light portal should have kind of gave things away, but I don't know, maybe I'm just stupid. Or can't read. That could be my secret for all you guys know. Mega shock. Why do I have so many energy attacks and like nothing else? I missed some cleanups, because cleanups is cool. Right. Wow, really? My fourth energy spell ever. That's kind of dumb. That's admittedly, I'm just gonna pretend. Oh, the invincible ball. My ball is invincible. I'm pretty sure it said beam, but the ball is more of an acceptable word on the interwebs, isn't it? I didn't think so. There was no euphemism in there, by the way. I was not trying to make it sound horribly wrong. So here's my invisible glass. After this, I will have no mana, in which case I'll spam this weapon, which ends up stealing people's mana anyways. And I'm pretty sure you can also steal mana when they have zero, which doesn't make sense and it's kind of bad coding, but whatever, it's cool enough for me. So as you can see, it's kind of dying, not really, but we're doing a pretty good job of not being dumb either. So here we go, jump! That was totally not the effect I was hoping light would have on it. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. I'm surprised I haven't found any really dumb enemies to sort of make fun of. I mean, I could make fun of how this looks like something that I don't know what it looks like, except it doesn't really look like anything that I know what it looks like, so... That sort of explains that. I sort of wish I could have its sword, and though I'm pretty sure you probably can get its sword in the Z-Token shop, and I don't know why I wouldn't try to get this sword in the Z-Token shop, because I have quite the high amount of Z-Tokens, as you can see from when I sold my house. But, that sounds really nerdy, selling your house for Z-Tokens on an online game. But that's okay. We'll just conveniently leak out the fact that it was an online house too, so that people will feel sorry for us. That's how we will. That's not even a term in the 21st century, is it? Probably something from the 90s. Of course, when I want mana, it doesn't steal mana, but when I do, it just steals mana every turn because it's a dumb weapon that is kind of dumb. So yeah, that works. I kind of feel bad for losing this badly against a thing that is not really that powerful. You know what, because there's still time in this, and by still time, I mean five minutes, I think I'm just gonna show off my epic, not very epic, Vizard skin. And by Vizard skin, I mean not a Vizard skin, but a Draco Mancer thing, but Vizard sounds cooler than Draco Mancer, so I sort of said Vizard. So, I guess this will be an attack of the Dragon Master. I sort of wish I had more mana so I could summon a dragon. Although I'm pretty sure I have a mana potion, so I don't know why I don't just do that instead of waiting for the stone weapon to do what it's supposed to do, because that obviously doesn't work out for anybody. So yes, now you guys will get to see me summon the dragon. Summoning dragons are pretty cool stuff. At least I remember it being cool the years ago I used to play this. Um, or I could have Dragon Shapeshift, but I'm pretty sure that's just sort of a signature attack that is kind of not powerful at all. Uh, I see this is Draco Mancer, desire my help. Mm, I skip word, because dumbness, yeah, feels like today, turn enemy, uh, smoldering, or resting. That didn't make sense, did it? Ranged. It is a plus attack. I don't know, I kind of feel like plus should be the symbol for an attack that heals people. But that's kind of useless in the game, it doesn't really support any form of co-op with any other people other than yourselves and your weird pest things that can't even be hurt because it's kind of not getting that kind of effect in on the games. So, I kind of want to do half dragon shapeshift, but it's a really horrible move, in all honesty. But I'm going to do it anyways, just to show you guys my special signature trademark horrible moves. So as you can see here, I am dragon, and I throw dragon balls. Uh, see what I did there? Now if you don't get that reference, then I don't know what you were doing during your childhood when you were supposed to be watching whatever anime played at 7 o'clock at night. I don't actually remember one dragon ball played, but I'm pretty sure it was something like that. So now I have 80, which is probably not much to do anything. 
Bob sounds like a pretty hilarious wyvern, but he sounds like he sucks at the same time. So I have a Dragon Fury and now I'm furious, so I'm gonna attack twice and do damage as if I was furious. While my Chromos, or whatever he's called, does no damage at all because he's weak to dumbness. <sighs> yeah, cool stuff, isn't it? I'm pretty sure running out of time, and this is not gonna be a thing anymore, but... It was fun while it lasted, wasn't it? So I have a Dragon Claw now, and I'm pretty sure this will do wind damage, and it'll be essentially very dumb for no reason. But that's okay, it was born that way. Did I just make that reference? Was that even a reference? I just remember that was like some song kids would sing when I was 6 years old. And by 6 years old, I mean 8 years old, and by 8 years old, I mean 12 years old. Could I be more wrong? Uh, okay, this is getting really boring, but honestly, I have nothing better to do, so I'm just gonna keep saying through this. Yes, suck his mana, suck it dry. That does not sound wrong at all. I'm sort of beginning to feel like it only, like, eats a certain fraction of its current mana, which is why I'm not really getting much mana out of what I'm sucking right now. That's okay, he'll die eventually of random dragon butts. Should probably be a paladin. It would likely give me a lot more coolness. Which is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be a paladin, because it'll give me a lot more coolness. So I'm pretty sure golden holy armor is a paladin. So, I run the paladin and I have my coolness, so I'm happy. So yeah, let's take this thing out. We are running fairly low on time, but I probably sped up this whole battle in that funnily hilarious way I usually do it, making my voice very squeaky. God bless this weapon. No thank you. Holy Rage, I don't remember that being a thing. Holy Might, I'm pretty sure that's the attack I remember, but it's too dumb to be an attack right now, so... Are you gonna attack upwards? Yes, that's what I thought I remembered it doing. So it keeps attacking, and it keeps attacking, and it keeps attacking, and the fire guy is doing some damage, and I'm singing the song, someone's going to auto-tune my voice, not really, I'm not popular enough to get people who are fans and who can do crazy things like that, at least I don't think so, but it would be cool. <sighs> yeah, so that is basically what your favorite singers sound like when they're not auto-tuned. At least I'm like 97% sure it is, unless your favorite singers are actually cool, in which case I'm sorry, I did not mean to insult your favorite singers. I don't know what's your favorite music, guys. Please don't say Kesha, or I'll get severely depressed. But, that's basically all I have to say right now, I'm kind of going on to tangents and trying to think of stuff to say, because LPs are supposed to have things to say, and I'm supposed to be practicing my talking. But, that's not really working out, but that's okay, I don't really care. So, he's dying, we sort of have the same amount of health right now, but obviously, him having had 3,000 health at the beginning, and me having had 800, someone's losing more health than they're gaining. That didn't really make sense in the context, what I meant to say is someone's losing health faster, obviously. See, my dragon decides to attack three times, because when it's not really necessary, he decides it's good to do a bit more damage than he has to. That basically describes most RPGs for you. Redundancies, and then when you kind of need redundancies or miracles, they just never happen. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's the other way around. But I'm pretty sure the laws of RPGs state that it should be done in that sense. Okay, so I guess I can do Holy Light. I don't remember what this does, but I'm pretty sure it can kill it with... Yeah, I was pretty sure that was a thing, except it left it with my health for some reason. It's just not... What? What? But that's so cool. If only that was an actual weapon not think shop for weapons big sword level four kind of dumb jade sword jade sword guardian jade sword jade sword guardian jade sword jade sword level 77 right now i could probably get that special jade sword but that would be not cool this sounds like a pretty cool weapon but apparently i don't have enough gold to buy it what is this what is this i should have but no anyways that's a thing i guess and uh so yeah this was my random adventure quest adventures this i believe but i decided i would call this about all of two seconds ago so I hope you enjoyed this, and if you didn't, don't blame me for wasting your life long enough to actually watch all of it, but I'm pretty sure I, my commentary was probably at its best, and not really, but it was pretty good commentary for someone who hasn't done commentary in a while and who was trying to obviously rip off the Luigi. You did not hear me say that, but essentially, that's what's going on here. Not really, but maybe, I don't know. Do you guys think there's similarities in that I sound like a Luigi? I don't think so. I think I sound more like Trigger Conroy myself. Haha, ha, ha, that's a laugh, isn't it? No, I was not serious. So anywho, this is the second cell piece. I'm likely gonna go waste my time doing something more productive, like... I'm not sure I want to say, because this is like private stuff and I'm not a good enough LPer yet to talk about my life and my LPs, but yeah, that basically explains everything, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and goodbye, this is a 15 minute long single part recording, for those of you who are wondering, I did not actually split up the parts like any intelligent person would, and right now I'm just kind of going on on a tangent because I don't really know how to conclude videos.